Hello and welcome back to Europe in Avalis 4, The Burgundian Conquest. So I am very, very tired right now, so we're just going to keep kind of going and we're going to play the game. Yes, I found out my usual recording spot is not available, so we're just going to kind of record uh, rather late at night, so let's see how things go with this. Uh, current mission, cancel it, none of those are good. We got military access from Brittany. Who are you at war with, Brittany? Lübeck, Bremen, Utrecht, and Brandenburg. How did you do that? Uh, Lübeck, Lübeck. They're along here somewhere, aren't they? There they go, Lübeck. Who are you at war with? Verden, Riga. No, it's sure, you can have military access. I don't really care that much. Uh, Quinto declared war on Chachapoa. Okay. We should probably reset our best guest list. Yeah. I mean, we have Canada. That's a new thing. We, we, we finally made Canada, next to New Burgundy, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Pentecostal heretics have risen up in... Ah, more France. Yeah, it doesn't bother us. We can take the next level of ideas, we can get the next trade idea for an extra merchant, which I think we'll do. Now, do we want to trade? change our trade node? Important question. The chat... Oh, wow, this is a huge fight in our realm. Which is actually weird, because, like, it's a fight between Spain and Ottomans. We're only kind of tangentially in the war, because... Okay. Looks like the Ottomans have more troops, but they also have a better leader. But they're also taking a crossing penalty. I think they've got it, though. Yeah, the Ottomans have that war. Please, uh, don't come and kill all of my troops. The Ottomans almost lost that fight. Wow. That's, uh... That's telling. They're also sieging our capital out of everywhere they could go. They've said to siege our land. Hey, we're at war with Portugal. We're at war with Spain. Who should we, uh, you know, go and land on? I mean, it's Tunis's war. Should we go and help out Tunis in the mainland? Should we go to Portugal? No. I got an idea. Let's go to Burgundy. It's, um, it's an interesting decision, Osmonds. We'll see how that pays off for you. I mean, you are making us lose money, which... It does appear to be an AI uh, obsession, but that's fine. Burgundian particularists. Yes, we might get some rebels. I'm not entirely fond of this idea, but we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Uh, do we have our colonies working? Yeah, we have our colonies working. We're still getting men over to uh, Britain, aren't we? Yeah, they're still going over to Britain two men at a time. It's not really a lot, but it's something. Uh, do we want to, like... Yeah, they are mothballed. I thought they weren't mothballed for a second because France's troops were on top of them, but they're mothballed. Uh, we lost a siege. Yeah, well done. Spain uh, lost another battle. Yeah, why can't Spain be this bad when they're facing us? The Ottomans are just destroying them. Probably because the Ottomans are, have a stronger army, better infrastructure. Uh, I think we're going to raise war taxes, actually. Try and get us some money. Even by paying nothing. Or like our army maintenance, we're still losing money. That's crazy. Do I just lower our uh, like lower inflation? How much of this is inflation? Like probably interest is going up because of inflation. If we were to reduce inflation, that uh, only saves us like 0.4 ducats. It's not really worth the amount that we're getting from uh, like admin. Uh, Austria accepted peace with Spain. Austria was at war with Spain. In what war? Hmm. Oh, I guess that was just a war they had. It was white peace, though, I believe. Yeah. Ottomans are going wild on all of Spain here. In fact, if the Ottomans could release a few cores for us, I wouldn't say no. They might actually do it. Um, Spain are, do have a large army, and they are doing stuff over there. Spain have lost all their land in Naples, all their land over here. The Ottomans are actually single-handedly beating Spain and Portugal. I almost feel bad for not joining in. Yeah, Spain peaced out with Great Britain. Oh, and that was... Oh, right. Austria was in the Great Britain War. I see. Uh, we gained a cast his belly against Ichma. Uh, Chechapo will cede so much to Kwaito. Kwaito is becoming massive. Ichima, I assume, just um, it migrated near us. Doesn't look like it, but maybe they did. Um, okay, cool. 
a task and entered a military alliance with Talaxa. Yes, also it's the alliance that's happening. Uh, Tunis, please don't get a larger navy than we have, because then I can't move our men two men at a time over to Britain. Also, you appear to be broken, men who are trying to go to Britain. Yes, I, I want you to use the second fleet. Alright, our fleet, yeah, just literally wasn't moving, man. That's, um, that's good. We ran out of money as well. At least you thought we had it. We, we actually just ran out of it. Any of this? Um, no, we'll take one and cancel it. I don't think the Ottomans are of any chance of getting us land from, um, uh, land from Britain. So I don't think we claim Calais is going to happen. I think there is actually a reasonable chance that either me or France gets some of this land if it's released. Like, there's a reasonable chance. I mean, we have the cores on it, right? Actually, we don't have any cores on it. Why don't we have cores? Has it been long enough that we don't have cores? France has a core. Yeah, it's Francian. So some, some of this we still, like, France has cores on. Actually, I think a lot of it was Spanish to start with. But there are a few things that might be ours. Might, might switch places. Like, a bit further south. Like, this one. Yeah, this one could be ours. Bring in marriageable women. Uh, we got 200 population and plus one base tax in that province. Very nice, very nice. Colonial enthusiasm stops, but that will give us another mission very soon. It will give us the mission to colonize a certain area, and that will allow us to get colonial enthusiasm again. Our diplomats aren't doing anything. Should we send them off doing something? Prove relations with the Commonwealth? Um, yeah, okay. That seems perfectly reasonable. Um, what's our, like, support number? Can we see that on the Commonwealth anywhere? Like, hey, you're this close to getting the Commonwealth. Um, nope. Doesn't appear like it. Cool, we could raise our stability if we want to get more money. Perhaps that could do something. It would give us a little bit more tax, I think. Um... Yeah, loads of trade power, so that could be it. Could also try and cha change our trade capital. Uh, yes, we were looking at that. I think we should change our trade capital to the English Channel. It give us more in the English Channel. There are more nodes that we can push things to in the English Channel. Like, there are only two nodes to push from to Champagne, and there's a node that leaves it. English Channel is an end node, which means that everything leads into it. We can use our merchants to push things into it. And we can also use some of our power from one of these, from Chesapeake Bay. We use our power in the English Channel to kind of push up some of our stuff there. It definitely seems like a good idea. How much does it cost to change our trade node? Uh, like, if we change our trade thing here, we can't do it at war. I think it's 300. It's like 200 admin or 300 diplo. It might be a good idea to change it with admin, just change our capital over there. And that would also convert the culture over there as well. And kind of prepare us for when... Um, actually, we shouldn't have our army at zero maintenance. We should have our army at almost zero maintenance. I don't know if we, that was where we were, but... Yeah, very almost zero maintenance. Yeah, just a tiny touch ahead. Yeah, so it'll actually reinforce. Oh, there we go. Uh, colonize Altagracia. Um... I don't really want to do that because it's really bad. So we're going to take it and cancel it and get somewhere better. Right. Ottomans, you're losing your war. Oh no. That's just, that's not, that's not the way it's meant to go. Tunis just annulled, tr wait. Spain just annulled treaties with Portugal and are paying money to Tunis. This means the Ottomans now are about to beat up me and Portugal. This is not a good thing for us. We might have to ditch. Can we do a white piece? They will not accept white piece. How about concede defeat? Oh, concede defeat is just not a thing anymore? Oh. Mm. Okay, I don't really want to peace out, so I might just let the Osmans destroy us. Uh, trade dispute against Spain, perfect. I, I guess we'll restart that stuff all over again. We'll issue our embargo. Make it even. It's, here's the, here's the per I see that's a costly embargo because they're not our rival. I forgot. We'll cancel it again. That's fine. We actually lost nothing from doing it because it didn't go over the a month. But anyway, yeah. Uh, the province of Kurno is no longer one of our uh, core provinces. Others may have that worthless piece of land. 
All right, so we're starting to lose our core, like our old cores on things like uh, Spain, well, that kind of southern France, Spain area. It's Spain now was southern France. At least Portugal's de-sieging my land. They have the common decency to do that. Right, Ottomans accepted peace with Portugal. Fantastic. So now it's just against uh, Tunis. We can stay in this war now. That's fine. Um. Okay, so 27 noble regiments rise up. Let's not do that one. Lose stability. Or we ignore it, we get tax down in Paris. Oh. We have to take the stability hit and then just boost it back up again. Yeah, we just have to boost this back up. We could boost it twice. Legitimacy is currently zero a year, which is fine. Zero a year is actually absolutely fine to be at. But our prestige is going down. Our prestige gives us... Ah, let's boost it. That way at least we're not losing legitimacy a year and then it puts us into weak claim territory and everything starts to be bad. Uh, Brittany have cancelled the military access. Natives have attacked. We managed to kill them, losing only nine of our men. Well done us. Well done, uh, well done us. Almost finished another colony. Nuremberg have accepted a military alliance with Spain. Well done, Nuremberg. You got the most uh, wanted alliance in the entirety of the game. Mission. None of these are good. Give us, like, colonize the little bit of land right next to your land. Oh, we, we still have our merchant free, yes. Uh, we're going to switch. Ah, yes. we're, it's because we're going to switch when this happens. So we can just have our merchants in free. Come on, Portugal. You gonna like end your war? We got an, we got an entire idea group in the time that it took you to end your war. We're gonna take trade range, yeah. Um, yeah, we can wait. I mean, we don't have the points to spend to actually change where our capital is. There we go, white peace. As uh, some more rebels appeared in in France, and I would like to change my capital to Anvers. I think. How much does it cost? 260, four less development than the target. Oh, so if we try and change it to somewhere with more development, then it would be better. Like Holland? One less development target costs us an extra four. So, right, so that gives us a base of 200. So it costs 200. Okay, anywhere better here? Like Zealand? We could do Zealand for. Yeah, that would cost us 212. Okay, Flanders cost us a lot. Wait, some of these aren't even popping up. Oh, if it's controlled by an estate, you just can't do it. Oh. Oh, well, that's... That's interesting. Uh, is all of this controlled by estates? No, there's a few that aren't. How about Anvers? Or Antwerp, as it's called. It's 216. That costs us a lot, but we can do it. So, General. Um, we'll get a new one. Eh, he's fine. We're just getting them because we have high uh, army tradition while it's on. We'll get our royal marriage back. Our colony in Levi and Levi's became self-sustaining. Let's uh, recall it map from Commonwealth. Yes, yes. That beca Micmac became westernized. Very well done, Micmac. Um, yeah, let's just colonize around this province if that's what we're going to do. I don't know. What do we want to do with this uh, group here? Do we want to continue colonizing Canada? I mean, Canada's pretty much just ours, but the things don't go, don't go into the right provinces for us. We probably want to do Chesapeake Bay and just kind of go really hard. Like, really hard. So we'll go and go to that one. We'll tell you to get around there. Cool. Everything seems to be fine. Right, to continue waiting for our points to come in. Lots and lots of points here. Where's Europe? Europe's over here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, all of our men have reached Britain. How many men does Britain have? Britain has more men than us. I don't know if I entirely thought through this plan. I'll bring all your men to Great Britain. But we've started it, so we'll, we'll carry on. The next part of the plan, I think, is get more men. But that doesn't appear to be something we can actually just do. It, we have, however, moved all of our men into the panic position already, which appears to be going pretty well. Our colony finished, so we'll send the next one to Connecticut. That's fine. Just send them over. Um, right. 
How much does it cost to move our trade capital? I actually wanted to check that as well. Trade city is 200 diplo. So there's 200 admin or 200 diplo. Ooh, it's a tough choice. Um, I think 200 diplo is worse generally, but we are doing a diplo idea group, which could make 200 diplo significantly better. I really don't want to colonize uh, Altagracia. I have no interest in that province at all. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of just waiting for the moment where Spain ends this, but we'll see. Uh, who are we going to improve relations with next? Going to improve relations with France and Portugal? Portugal, yeah, okay, we can improve relations with you. And France, I can also improve relations with you. No problems with those two choices. Right. I wish it was like an automated thing for improving relations, like just generally go and improve relations for me. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, we've got a lot of Cassis Belly going on. People have got rivals. Sweden announced Great Britain as the rival. Maybe we can get in that way. A uh, global settler increase would be very nice. It's, yeah, it's definitely worth losing the money for the global settler increase. Definitely. How are the uh, colonies looking? Not really high liberty desire there. France's liberty desire is sneaking up. But that's because they're like significantly stronger than Well, I mean, they're kind of the same strength as us, but you know, they're starting to be almost significantly stronger. We get an extra merchant until for five years, or we can get national tax. I'll get the national tax for five years. I'll need an extra merchant. I already have a merchant who I have nothing to do with. Yeah. You just need the, um, you need the points. I think we'll go Diplo. Yes, yes, we renewed our loan. I understand. I need more money. We're working on it. We're working on it. And um, we're also going to get to that first. There's no real reason to move our capital just yet, anyway. Also, I think we can move our trade one without having to spend the extra points. Yeah. Uh, let's just make it Holland. That kind of works. Like Amsterdam. 200 Diplo. Spent. Now, everything should be going into this province. So we're going to move one merchant from, like, to Champagne. Wait, do we have to wait, like, a day? Like, a month or something? There we go. Trade protection casts a spell against Sweden. Great. Uh, transfer trade power. We're going to send a person from Bordeaux to do that, I think. Wait, does Bordeaux head up to... No, it doesn't head up. So we'll send a person from Bordeaux to, to there. What about the person from Rhineland? Let's send... We'll, we'll put one, oh, obviously, over here. I can be our new guy. Takes him 60 days to get there. Um, then where else do we want to push from? We could push from Lubeck, or we can push from the North Sea, or we could, of course, push from either Bordeaux or um, Rhineland. No, let's push from Bordeaux as well, actually. I'll take that back. We're going to push from Bordeaux as well. And just into Champagne, then we can push from Champagne into this one. And that would give us a lot of money, I think. A lot more money than we were making. Anyway. Yeah, it's a smaller piece of the pie, but it's a larger pie, basically. Yeah, we're getting like four ducats a month. That's much, that's much more reasonable. Also, we're paying for all these forts, aren't we? All right, that's what's costing. Yeah, now we're making nine ducats a month. We might actually be able to pay off our loans before we get more interest. Uh, let's take a mission, cancel it. Uh, new technology, military tech. We'll have it. We'll just have it this time. It's fairly cheap. We'll grab it. Let things carry on. Uh, we've gained trade protection against Sweden. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, yes, yes, privateers and all that. Don't really need to worry too much. Uh, Portugal, we will recall our diplomat. Uh, who, where do we want to send him next? Let's send our diplomat over to Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. We can get really high relations with Sweden. Perfect. Right. Anything else that we need to worry about? Not really. Native uprising. Not really important. Yeah, we, we managed to beat it. Surprisingly, yeah. Wasn't that difficult. Protection against Sweden. Yes, yes. Uh, trade good produced in Connecticut has been changed to naval supplies. Quality of our troops is impressive. We rule. We just got a whole bunch of prestige, which is very nice. 
Very nice indeed. We almost have enough money to pay off a loan. It, it's it's fantastic. A loan only costs us like we, it was a loan for three hundred. It's only costing us an extra fifty ducats on top of that. It's not too bad. Commonwealth declared war on Genoa for this province, I assume. Uh, I hope you don't call us in because we're nearby Genoa on this side. That that would be classic. Like mainly because I just don't want to be in the war. There's no real like reason why being in the war would be bad that bad for us because we wouldn't do anything. But I just don't want to be at war. Uh, full annexation was demanded over across the seas. Wonder whether maybe our colonial vassals are making people not attack us because it seems like we have more men. Like they're not even though they have the men to take us, Spain aren't going to attack us because our allies, including our colonial vassals, are adding up to be too much. I don't know. Like, I'm just wondering why Spain doesn't attack us, basically. They called us in because we're nearby. Oh, that is classic. No, be great. If Spain attacks us now, the Commonwealth doesn't join because they're already at war. That would be actually some fantastic stuff happening there. Right, uh, possible provinces. Raturin. Uh, Raritan. Raritan is actually near enough by that I am considering going there. We will take that mission. Oh, colonial expansion. 200 for 30 ducats. Yeah, I'll take it. Or 50 population for no ducats. Yeah, we'll take 200 extra pop. Uh, we will, of course, turn off all of our forts and lower our army maintenance. Why did it? Ra why does it raise it automatically? Because people complained that it was too easy to forget that you didn't turn your army maintenance on. And now I'm like, I want it turned off. And it's like there isn't an easy option that I've found. Mamluks will cede a whole bunch to Tunis. Tunis are actually growing really large. And they ceded some to the Ottomans. Yeah, things are not going well. Although the Tunis is now bordering the Ottomans. Not good stuff there. Ottomans is friendly. Ah, they don't want the ally though. We got a claim on Switzerland. Don't really need to do anything with that. Peasants war. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.